Hey, Sino Graver here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to some more Super Clatter. We're going to be exploring FM, uh, not to be confused with the great epic FM synthesis where you can um, draw a lot of cool sounds and tones and pitches using something like um, uh, a frequency modulatory index or, you know, adding side bands or, you know, that, that additive synthesis that sounds really great. This is just basic motion that I've been ex exploring with some simple tones, some wave types as you see here. And I'm exploring this motion because I want to work in a sound trajectory and how to uh, process audio files and, and, and drones and ambience with this kind of motion, this, this frequency modulation. Um, I've got a lot of examples here. We're just going to touch on a few at a time, starting with the wave types. So let's go ahead and get started with our sine tone here using sinosk and our freak argument at 300, our phase argument and our mole argument with xglam2 to distribute it to the stereophonic space. Let's go ahead and play. Pretty simple sine wave there. And uh, let's go ahead and move along to saw. Now, saw is really important to uh, understand. Uh, the difference between saw and sinos uh, sin and um, LF saw, LF tri, LF cube, you may even notice it here in this list. We do not include a phase argument in saw. I did not understand that until later this week when I was outputting nothing because I had, well, okay, phase. But that actually is not the phase argument. That's actually the mole argument. So it was outputting zero. It was essentially running. The synth was running, but it wasn't outputting anything. So I'm like, where's my saw? Is it just LF saw that I use? Uh, but if you want to use saw, uh, you just don't include the phase argument. This is the mole argument scaled um, by half, as you can see here. And here's our sawtooth oscillator. A little nasally, a little bright, a little loud. Now we have LF saw, which is, uh, you know, the same tone as saw. Uh, the difference here is uh, between LF saw and saw, we have, um, we do have a, a phase argument here. And also saw is a, a band limited sawtooth oscillator. So um, I'm not quite sure the, the, the direct difference there. What I have noticed is you just, in my experience, you need a little bit lower output. Not sure why just yet, uh, but let's go ahead and hear the difference. Versus saw. Now actually there might be a difference here in the scope. Uh, you can see that the saw, uh, the, the wave is um, slanted back. I don't know if that is any indication, but here the wave is slanted forward. So I would just say uh, use a little bit discretion uh, what kind of color you want or what kind of generation you want. Here's LF try, which also uses a phase argument. And I, I love that retro sound of the triangle wave. Here's LF cube, which is um, a sinusoidal wave. Um, it's a shape, it's a sine shape uh, of two cubic pieces together. It's got kind of a smoother tone a very muted tone. And then LF part is, according to the help doc, is even smoother. Now it could be what I'm hearing in my headphones, I, I'm not sure, but I, I do hear a little bit more um, uh, distribution to the, the higher end or the higher frequencies of LF par. Um, so that actually might be dynamically different in inside a, a sound file, you know, controlling a sound file with LF pulse versus LF cube. Here is pulse, and pulse is sounding like this. Pulse is essentially a square wave. Actually, um, it's a square wave when the width argument, as, as mentioned here, uh, is 0 0.5. Now you can change it. For, for different colors. Um, here's uh, 
very thin, very resonant, very na nasally. Um, but do be sure you are including the with argument or you will have some unfortunate output, uh, so something really rough around the edges. So just be sure that that is included. Now, we're just gonna do some controlling, uh, first with a, a sign oscillation here. Um, with the X line by itself going from 2000 Hertz to 200, uh, playing it, um, default value is one second. We'll change it shortly, or hear the change shortly. Very nice, fast ramp down. Now over the course of eight seconds, you would, you would put in the time level here. Second sure feels long when you're waiting. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, let's go ahead and add to our control variable another sign oscillation that is moving from 200 to 800 hertz over the course of four seconds with a cyclic motion of one per second, ramping all the way up to a thousand times per second. Let's hear what that sounds like. Kind of a thin kind of scrunching up and I think uh, a lot of the frequency um, as it's ramping higher is, is is bouncing I think against zero hertz I'm not sure I'd have to check the freak scope for that so why don't we have something a little bit more I would say something that is easier to identify in terms of sound uh, where our frequency does not exceed 20 cycles per second but we're still bouncing around from 200 to 800. And there we go. Now I'm not going to go through all of these examples, um, but let's uh, let's try sign off with a triangle wave motion. Bit of disclosure: my computer is kind of old, so I think it's having a hard time processing Super Collider and OBS at the same time. Um, so you may hear glitches along the way. Uh, that's nothing to do with the audio server in Super Collider. Uh, let's go ahead and let's let's hear it with saw. I, I definitely like the the motion of LF saw. I like that pebbly motion at the start. That that uh, instigation of that cycle. It's great. All right, let's move along down to saw, and uh, we'll include um, a sign off here. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, we have to remember, so here's sign off. We do need the phase uh, argument here. Um, this is a little confusing. I meant no phase, I, I meant no phase argument for the sawtooth itself. But for the control variable, sign off here, um, yes, include a phase argument. <laughs> so let's try this. <laughs> And if you are incorporating saw for a sawtooth oscillation, then of course, no phase argument on both. So this is the, the two frequencies here, no phase argument as added in sine tone oscillation. Um, let's go ahead and do this with LF par, which of course needs a phase argument. Uh, definitely rougher, um, but it, it could you know you could smooth it out with some reverb or delay or um, a chorus effect something like that. All right, um, LF saw uh, I would just treat it pretty much like saw. Um, just just be a little cautious as far as output. I, I'm keeping the the amp quite low, the the mole argument quite low. Let's listen to. LF try. Uh, let's do LF try with the sine tone, that smooth sine tone. I think now we're getting into some Pac Man. Um, with uh, LF saw, sounds great. And with the triangle wave, you can actually hear some of that higher partial. 
if, if you listen very carefully with headphones. Uh, LF cube. And so on. Now, I did add this note. Um, you can add a control rate uh, to you know this variable oscillation here, the control oscillator, um, as I have this example here. But after listening to Eli Field Steel, um, he advises against it. Uh, maybe not against it like like it's a detrimental thing because the output is the same. However, when you're working with higher frequencies in the the control variable, as, as I'm calling it right now, <laughs> uh, then you would want higher resolution. And for that, you probably should use the audio rate. So just fine to do, fine to use. Something that is, I would say, eight or less per second, um, you know, eight or fewer oscillations per second, something like a control rate would be fine. But um, if you have something working with higher frequencies, for instance, I would just go ahead and, and use the audio rate. All right, LF cube, LF par. Let's just kind of hear a couple of them and compare. So let's do LF cube with the uh, triangle wave motion. And then let's compare it to the LF par triangle motion. Tiny bit difference. Um, I, I do want to hear the LF saw. Also another good sound with Pac-Man. I do feel like LF par just extracts a little bit of the, the higher frequencies. It's, it's got just a slightly thinner coating on the sound, if that makes sense. All right, pulse and LF pulse. Pretty much the output is the same. I would just advise uh, lower using a lower output for, for LF pulse. Um, I really can't explain why now. Maybe it'll come to me a little bit later. Um, but just remember with pulse, um, adding 0.5 uh, width value will cause it to be a square wave. So um, we, can, we can use the example here. I think that's fine. And actually, let's go ahead and compare it to LF Pulse. OK, so the output is a little bit more controlled. I'm really going to have to explore what the distinction is and what is preferable, because the output is the same except in terms of amplitude from the different pulse triggers. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's compare pulse to uh, this with Sinos. And uh, maybe same. All right. Uh, just I, I, I hear more of that higher end, just ever so slightly with the LF pulse. Um, now, actually, uh, this was before I discovered you got to include a width argument for this. Otherwise, um, LF pulse, it was really rough. It was just outputting a lot of rough stuff, and it was kind of sounding like R2D2 before he explodes. So um, now that I've included the width argument uh, af right after the phase, um, it, it should be fine. You should be good. Uh, let's try just a couple more. Let's try with a uh, saw. And I'll try. And there we go. Um, so now, now you're hearing it go up to a higher frequency and, and, and then kind of just adding. Um, it's probably adding some uh, back and forth, maybe some, some side bands if I'm thinking of that correctly the use of that correctly. Um, but I'd have to check the FM physics for that. Uh, but in any case, uh, it's it's motion that I want to explore using for sound files in the future. And yeah, it's going up right now. It's, it's, it's The motion is a little bit boring. I'm using the same frequency arguments. But I'm going to explore FM just a little bit more deeply 
for the month of December and hopefully find some cool motion and uh, trajectory of movement to use for audio files in the future. So yeah, it was simple tones and wave types tonight, but uh, that's that's all well and good. Going, going back over the basics is really, really been a good thing for me. So until I see you next, keep producing the art you love, keep experimenting, and I will catch you later. Thanks again.